Hi, this is Satiris Basakaropoulos from buildingabetterblog.com. This is part 65 of our 101 blogging tips uh, video series. And today I'm going to be talking about how to connect your Thrivecart account with Wishlist member. Okay, so um, the first thing you'll do obviously is you'll have to um, go to Wishlist member and you'll have to um, get a license. Okay, so you have to get a license. So I think there's a single license um, which is $97 and that's for one website. Or you can get a multi license which is $297 which is for unlimited websites. So um, I went for the multi license because I have a lot of websites. So but you know it depends on you know how many sites you're planning on actually using um, and turning it into a membership site. So uh, you'd obviously go to Wishlist Member. You know you'd buy the 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 plugin. There's there's a link below this video where you can go to click to go and get it. And um, if you just come here and. Um, Basically, you can then download, you can see your products that you bought, right? And then you can um, basically download the product. So you'll click like that to download it. Okay, so download Wishlist Member. Right. And then once we've done that, we'll go to um, add the site. So we'll basically go and add the wishlist uh, membership plugin into our website. Okay, so I'm just gonna log in, right? You just log into your site obviously in your back office. So your website.com forward slash WP hyphen admin. And then um, you just put in your username and password to log in. Obviously, if you're in um, Wealthy Affiliate, you'll just log in by clicking the Websites button and clicking and log in to your website. So I'm going to click Add New Plugin. And then um, I'm going to click Upload Plugin, Choose File. And I'm gonna just go, it's on the computer, so just go to desktop. I'll just type in wish list and it should bring it up. That's the one, and click open and then click install now. Okay, so once you've installed it, you'll click Activate Plugin. And then what you're going to have to do is, once you've activated it, or once you've clicked it, you're going to have to click on Wishlist Member and click on Dashboard. So it's going to ask you for your email, okay, so that's the email that you bought it with and then it's going to ask you for your product key, your license key, alright, so you put in the email address you bought it with and then you'll put in your license key, so I'm just going to do that now. Now you'll find your, um, your license key here. Okay, so you'll see it says product license key, click here to show the license key. So you'll click on that to actually see the license key. So I'm just going to do this down a bit. Okay, and then copy that. So you'll copy, it's a big long key, you know, it's maybe about 25 or 30 letters and numbers. 
and then you'll go back to your dashboard okay so you go back to your dashboard you'll paste in that key okay and then once you've done that you'll then click the blue button to save the license information so at this um, stage it's going to ask you um, for membership levels okay so create membership levels so I'm gonna create a basic affiliate marketing basic affiliate marketing 101 okay so that's going to be the the base level thing right so we'll do that and then we'll click next okay and then we're going to click create it for me and let it create us um, all the different pages next okay automatically protect posts and all pages no okay we'll just um, click next again We'll just uh, allow that to create it for us and just click save this setup okay so that's the setup wizard run so that will be all your stuff um basic pages you need sort of created okay so once you do that um what you're going to do is you're going to go to integration Thing. it's not even integration and um, we'll go to settings and then miscellaneous okay so down the page a bit you're going to get um, different keys okay you're going to get a secret key and some other key okay now it's going to ask us for this in a while um inside the shopping cart so i'm going to go now to the shopping cart and uh, there's a link below for the shopping cart here and at the minute um it's not open to the public but i have access to a lifetime license at the minute so you can get a one-off lifetime license and not have a hundred dollar month monthly payments that all the people will have who come later so i would highly recommend you uh you know i'd highly recommend you take up that offer while it's available by the link below i don't know when you know um maybe when you listen to this video maybe it'll be over but it's definitely worth checking and see if it's still here Okay, so we'll go to um, our account and then we'll go to create product okay so you'll scroll down where it says create a new product then we'll create a new product and decide where it's digital or physical okay it's digital all right okay and then we're going to go to um, settings. 
tray integrations, membership platforms. Yep, wish list member. Okay, and we're gonna then so okay, so we'll go we'll just go back there again. So we'll go to integrations. Membership platforms. So it's first it's integrations, then membership platforms, then we click on wish list member. And then you can see the ones that we've already added. Okay, so I'm gonna click authorize with another wish list site. Okay, and now it's gonna ask for your site URL. So it's HTTP www.internetmarketing association dot co dot uk forward slash members okay so that's going to be the site url my membership site i'll just call it internet marketing association okay so now we just need the API key and we can add this site. So I'm just going to scroll down and get the API key and just copy it in here. So copy. So once we've done that, we just save it. Okay, and now you'll see we have our new site here shown in the wishlist member integration. Okay, so we're gonna go back here to our cart and we're gonna click here. Do we need to refresh this page again? Um, the product is affiliate marketing training 101 so basic affiliate marketing training So we've got that, we'll put it live, select the owner of the cart, okay, set the price, at subscription, monthly, so we'll put, it says $47 a month, limit to one, next, okay, save it. Um, you can get the to calculate the sales tax if you want. So we'll click next. Set up processors. Pick your processors that you want to use. Click save. Click next. Do you want to fully support product? No. Click next. Okay. So your support email address. And then at this stage, you click on this and it says send the URL, display their invoice, or add them to my membership site. So you click add them to my membership site. And this is the bit where we pick um, which site we want them to be members of. Why is this not bringing up the site? Hmm. 
It should actually show up now at this stage. But it's not for some reason. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to just pick this one. Right, and then I will change it in a wee minute. Revoke access where customer cancels or refunds. Okay. Association. Okay, forward slash members, slash login. Okay, so click next. Okay, so for some reason it's not refreshing. The fact that I've added this site, which I have, and last time I did this, it um, took me somewhere else. So I'm just going to go on and then I'll come back to it. Okay, so click next. Again, just click next. And then the only thing you want to change is success text. So, you know, thank you for your order. Um, welcome to uh, basic affiliate marketing one oh one. And then we'll just click next and you can add tracking here you know your Facebook tracking or anything like that we'll click next and then add rule okay so what we need to do is for this to add rule this is where you add your autoresponder or you add something so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go in to my autoresponder and we'll have to create a list now this is going to be a buyers list so this means that everyone who buys it off you will now be in their own buyers list okay so you'll have a buyers list of people who actually bought off you so we'll just click manage lists and create a list okay and we'll call it um basic Affiliate Marketing 101. Okay, and we'll put in the URL. Enter Marketing Association. uk. Okay, pick any put in your address put in your name and your senders email okay so this top one is one you need affiliate marketing 101 the second one is the one that the clients say so basic affiliate marketing 101 okay so once you do that you just want to click approve message and create list if you haven't already got the autoresponder um i will also have a list a, a, a link for the autoresponder and um, below this post okay shopping cart and a link for the uh, membership software as well You'll be able to find it just directly below uh, this video or if you're on the video if you click the link below the video it'll take you to the blog post 
where all the different links are. Okay, so that's it. So now we'll go to list options, list settings. And this is very important. Um, to actually go here, if you want to be notified when people actually join your buyers list, that means basically you've made a sale. Um, you'll want to come here and scroll down the page and um, put a notification name and email in. But what I'm going to do here is I'm maybe just going to go and close some windows because we're getting a wee bit over. Okay, so we'll put our name and our email that we want to get the notifications on. Now because I have so many lists, it takes mine ages and ages to do this. So you click add and then you click save settings. Mine will mess around here probably for five minutes doing this um, because I have so many lists. But we'll not worry about that. We'll just go on ahead and do something else. So now that is the the list basically created. Okay. Now what we need to do after this um, loads up, we need to... Um, turn the double opt-in off because the double opt-in means that these people won't actually be on your list if it's on double opt-in so we need to go in uh, and turn that off and that's the next thing um, we're actually going to do but what I'm going to do in the meanwhile I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click add rule and I'm hoping that now our new list will be here so you can pick what you want for them to do so when they purchase the main product send them to a buyer's list, you know, if they refund it, you can decide what to do. If they batten the cart, decide what to do. If they decline the cart, so you can have a list for people who batten the cart. You could have a list for people whose payment was declined. You could have a list for people who refunds the product, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a really brilliant piece of software. Okay, so I'm going to click add them to or you could remove them from a list so you can take them off your buyers list you know when they refund the product for example okay so I'm going to grab this list that we've just made affiliate marketing 101 okay I'm going to click save okay so now when they buy that they're automatically going to go into this buyers list so we'll click save and get URL Okay, now what we want to do is I want to go just back in to edit the product settings again. And I just want to go to fulfillment. And I want to click here. Yep, it's appeared now. Okay, so I'm going to click Internet Marketing Association. Okay, we'll see this is now saved at settings. So the um, email saved the setting so we'll just click on confirmation message scroll down and where the the green button is on want to turn it off and then just click yes to confirm that want to turn it off and then save the settings you need to save the settings or it'll still be on okay so that's the double opt-in now I switch to so wish list member dashboard yeah we've definitely got a membership level basic affiliate marketing 101 so we do have that level so I don't know why this isn't Bringing it up. Come back to it again. Okay, we'll go back again. Keep trying until we get it to work. If at first you don't succeed, just keep on trying.
let's go in here and edit this. We, should, we will be able to fix this. So. Okay, so we'll go to fulfillment. So what will happen normally, if my computer wasn't going funny, if you go here, you put in the level, it'll bring up the different membership levels. If you've won, it'll bring up one. If you have more than one, which I have, there'll be whichever ones. And then you pick the one um, that you want to pick to go with that level, okay? So we'll say it's a basic level here in this one. Then we'll click next. And then we'll click next. And then obviously we'll fix the success headline text and then next and then save and get url okay so now this is our url so what will happen is when someone comes to the website and clicks to buy the product they will come to the shopping cart like this okay and then they'll be asked to put their email their credit card details or their paypal card number, month, year, three digit code, click complete order. And that means they will now be a member of your membership site. So that's how you uh, connect your shopping cart with your membership site. Thanks very much.